Why? Hello. Wait, I might have to clean the camera quick. Don't do that. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, people, future people who are watching. There we go. Oh, that looks a little better. Oh, Gabe, you look so majestic. Majestical creature. Well, hello. Bella. But Hello. Hello. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> Lisa. Oh, excuse me. Andrew's <laughs> burp it. Oh my gosh, it's so low. I know, I just wanted to get that cute um, angle of gaze. It is pretty cute. It's so cute. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Giz. <laughs> So he's been in a funny mood today. He he talks sporadically today. He's not had no big conversations. Oh, hello, everybody. You're all being quick. Hello, hello, hello. What really he is? You can just do a sleep live? I know it's sleep lives. We have lots. We, ha we haven't been live on YouTube in a bit. We haven't so been live that's for a while. Emily... He's not really talking right now, just, just to put that out there. Um, uh, yes, we will definitely show Madeline. We will show our ring neck on this live as well. He's just scared of the tripod. He's not scared of the phone. Yeah. Just the tripod. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's thinking of you, Dan. Yeah, he's thinking of your perch that you made him. <laughs> yep, yeah, bloob is part of the flock now he's just i don't know why he's so scared of the tripod but i could have a phone right in his face so we'll show him it we'll definitely show him on the live <laughs> oh mr gibbs look at you look at you look at him oh he's looking very full feathered <laughs> <laughs> very full feathered what the heck is that i don't know this hmm. message, I can't see it very well. I'll check on my computer as well. Hi, Aaron. Hey, Bonnie. Hi. Sometimes when I speak, I hear gizmo. It's weird. And I hear bloob now with a hi. Not really, Giz? You just going to yawn? <laughs> <laughs> he looks more fat or older. <laughs> Giz, they weren't talking about you, by the way. Oh, you're getting the slant eye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're getting the stink he's, eye. So he's just been molting. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're blessed that he has all his um, feathers. He's fully feathered. I think that's yeah. Beach. It's so true, Lisa. He really is such a silly bird. But African greys, <laughs> Bean, come on. African greys are very finicky. It's so funny. They can they can hate the uh, the smallest things and be so scared of them, but then they can be fine with the biggest, weirdest things. There's toys that I've introduced him to that were giant toys that he was like, yeah, I'm cool with this. And then there's this tiny toy, and I, I should sh even just show it to show him. Wait, where's that even that? This. Look at this. The skateboard. The skateboard. Just, just check this out, okay? Let me back it up a bit because he's scared. Um, okay, this is a this is a skateboard. Look how tiny it is. Okay, do you want to ride it? Oh, you're gonna prove me wrong. <laughs> he likes to. Do you want to ride it now? Should we ride Step it? Step up. Step up on it and ride it. Uh, yeah, the basketball hoop is. Um, no, see, he's ripped. acting like a little scared of it. You see, it's okay. You want to ride it? Okay, see. <laughs> He's acting, he was a little bit brave then. He was braver. He was braver, but he's still, you can tell, he's still a little bit scared. <laughs> and it's tiny, but I can show him a huge toy, probably. Like, let me try this. Bet he'd be fine with this, just to prove a point. Oh, he's getting excited. <gasps> What's that, Giz? Hey, let me show this toy. Ooh. Look at this. Look how huge this is. Coming right at him, and he's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, now let's show the skateboard one more time. Skateboard. <laughs> He's just not a skater boy. Okay. 
Big it's toy. not a teenage dirt bag. Big toy? Big toy is fine. You're silly. You're a silly boy. That's great for you. <laughs> I took this one off that spot because you've been really like. Yeah, that he spot. loves that. Um, but we'll have he to find does an, like this too. He does like that one. I don't one. like that one. It causes a lot of mess, but. Yes. Hi, infamous Ian. Bloob. Um, I will. Okay, Bloob is scared of the oh, tripod. I'm just going to turn mind. the camera around Here without trying to torch. freak him out. Here he has that toy over there. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he, hang on. There he is. He does not like the tripod. I can hold the phone in his face. He'll be back. <laughs> I was going to take it down, but he came over and, you know, he'll definitely get me. He will get you. <laughs> He's on the, yeah, he likes to sit on the TV and he just watches us. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> I got a cute video of him on the TV today, actually. Hi, Michael. New York, that's my bucket place. That doesn't <laughs> sound that exotic. My bucket list place. New York, <laughs> my bucket place. <laughs> Sorry about that. I want to go to New York so bad. I was going to put it on the stand, but I realized he already has oh, the exact same toy on you're there. You're all in New York? Oh, that's so cool. Maybe me and Gear should just come to New York. Well, we'll be going to New Jersey soon. So close. So close. Like, right neighbors. State neighbors. Oh, Gears. Okay, can I take that down? Because I didn't mean to get it there, but you came at me and I was scared and couldn't get you. He's going to get you. Get him, oh, guess. Get him. Can you just don't? Um, the wildfires, uh, we're in a, is it state of emergency? Okay, I'm going to leave that. <laughs> but thankfully, we've had rain for the last two days. Not a lot. Um, my chest is actually quite bad because we're getting the smoke. Um, but we're not getting too bad of smoke right now. Like, there was a bit today, or was it yesterday? I can't remember. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, you're, oh, you're in New Jersey. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're coming to New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, very For a soon. weekend soon. Oh, um, and Carolyn said hi from Las Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas, that's... That's my hometown. Um, I guess Blue and Bird getting on. Giz and Blue Bar... Not so much Bird and Bloob. Bird is just trying to be top B. So we have our shot away for now because we're doing it in shifts. It's the best way. In Oklahoma. <laughs> you can see on the map where these places are. Oh, yeah, because I'm not educated in America. It's Do you above see? Texas. It is above Texas. And um, New Jersey is right there. Where's New Jersey? See? Aww, oh, it's a New baby. Okay. It is tiny. I don't know if Pennsylvania is right next to it. We have, we have a map um, of the United States right here on our, on our uh, wall. It's actually one of those scratch off maps, like where you scratch it off and there's some, like a, a, a nice picture underneath. And we got this like four years ago. And we were going to do, um, we were going to scratch it off for cooking around the United States, but we never did that. And it's just been sitting here for like four years. <laughs> but maybe we'll scratch off all the places we've been in the U.S. Don't know. Oh, Hope. Hope, how is the, um, the smoke near you in Edmonton? I'm sure it's a lot worse than down here. Yeah, it's Ah, uh, Superbird will come out. She will. I just need to get Bloob. Bloob's on her cage. Oh, yeah. Bloob's on the new cage. Come out a minute. Hi, Aaron. Yeah, the side eye. For a month, yeah. Wow. Ah, oh, wow. I love how all you guys are, like, from all over the place. It's so great. It's the best. <laughs> I feel like I can smell smoke on you. A bit. 
really. Mm. Oh, because you've been outside a bit today. Yeah, not very long. That's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> All right, Gobby. Oh, oh should I show me? Blue quick and take him over there? Oh yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna show you guys. So, l those of you that know, we are going into. Um, we will have an online parrot store company that sells cages and toys and. This is actually one of our new cages right here that we just set up. And this is actually Bird's new cage, but Blue has decided to take it over. Look at Look how cute he is. And this is what's so funny about him. He's not scared of, um, of the phone, but he's terrified of the tripod. Look at that, he's so cute. Hi, Bloob. You come and say hi. See, yeah, he's not scared of the bird. He's just a tripod. He's not. Like, I could get it so close to him. Look at that. Well, hello, Blue. Can you say tickle, tickle? Tickle, tickle. But yeah, he's, he's, this is, so this is Bird's new cage. I just got all the toys in today. Um, it's got some awesome perches and toys and, and everything like that. And he just flew to our Java tree that we will also be selling on our website as well. But yes, the lighting. Ooh. Lots of places to pay. Good boy, Bloob. Bloob's actually been loving being on this Java tree. He loves it. So cute. You're a good boy. I have no idea. I'm gonna. I'll come get it off. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's on the tree. So um, when we do have these available, it'll be like a little bit before we get it set up, but we will actually have uh, pictures of the, the tree. Like we will have pictures of the exact tree that you would get. So let's say like this picture was online and you wanted this particular one and you bought it, you would actually get this particular one. So we're actually going to have it set up like that. Otherwise, you could see a picture of this one, but it looks smaller. Exactly. So you'll know exactly what tree you will be getting. Because a lot of times online, you'll see a picture like this one, and then maybe you'll get one that doesn't look like it, or it's not as intricate, and then you'll think, dang it, I wanted that one. So we want to make it fun um, and, and make sure that people get what they're getting. It evaporated. It did. Hi, Blueby. Okay. Should we go... Go back to gizzards. Oh, Let's go back to giz. Wait, what are you doing there? What is that? Yeah, I thought I was being like, uh, it's just water. Water? So Emily, she can't even reach the tree. <laughs> yeah, well, you overflowed it. Oh, you scared them. Oh, bloob. All right, well, let's go back over there. Let's go back over there. <laughs> so Bloob is up there. Here's Bloob. And here's Bird. Hi, say hi, Bird. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, hello. You showing off all your little bat bird girl? And if any of you have birds, I'm not sure if, if your birds allow you to just stick their finger in their, in their cage. But birds are sweetheart to me. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting good at this now, Good. Girl. Oh. <laughs> I'll, bird will come out in a bit. And M's just cleaning his cage. Oh, the, um, he's she is crystal she's playing the upside down i can bite you <laughs> bird uh, 
How did our birds get their name? Good question. So Gizmo was actually previously named Gizmo by his previous family. And um, interesting enough, when we got him, we weren't really that interested we in his name. We actually didn't like it. We thought it was kind of like... Yeah, wasn't... <sighs> We just didn't see a grey being called Gizmo. We just wanted to... Because we named our bird Bird. We thought, oh, let's have a funny name. Um, so we was going to call him something just like Grey. Or Grey Bird. I yeah. Don't know, something really simple. And, but, then, <laughs> yeah. and then one day when we were like discussing all that stuff, he was like, I'm Gizmo. Who are you? And, and we like, were like, oh crap, God, okay. Yeah, he just introduced, yeah, just introduced so himself. Good now. now he does look like a Gizmo Tanya. We like, I love his name now. I couldn't even imagine it being changed to anything else. He's yeah, such a Giz. And I love that he calls himself Gibby. Can you give everybody a kiss? Go on. Come on, give a kiss. Can you do a kissy fart? Give a kiss. Ready? <gasps> Mwah. Good boy. <laughs> good boy and then bird we named bird bird because when we got her she was unnamed obviously and we took to we were like thinking of so many names and we were back and forth and all of us wanted a chance to name her we have six people in our house and none of us could come up with the like None of us could agree on any of the names we wanted, and we just kept calling her Bird in the meantime. And then we were just like, how about we just keep her as Bird? Yeah, well, she started answering to it. Yeah, she did start <laughs> answering happened? to Bird. And this uh, is her here. Hi, Bird. You can come out very soon, okay? As soon as he's off your shrine. And then Bloob. Okay, a Bloob is actually called Aiden. His name and is... again, we didn't think Aiden was really the appropriate name for this gorgeous-looking bird, even though we called him Bloob. So we started calling him Bloob, and we were like, can you imagine if he says, I'm Aiden? And he literally did. Yeah, he's like, Aiden. So now he's Aiden Bloob. Because yeah. we respect that he knows his name, and we're, <laughs> we're just here. I'm just showing Bloob. We yeah. respect that they know their name, so we're not going to change it. Bloob is, like, our name for him. Yeah. But when he's being, like, cheeky, we'll be like, Aiden Bloob. Yep. And Bloob so, is, like, short term for, like, Blueberry, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so we call him both. Like we'll call him Aiden Bloob or just Bloob. But he says his name so sweetly. He's like, Eden, yeah, Eden, maybe he'll Eden. do some talking in a bit too. He will. Gizzards, we're here now. Let me put this back on. There we go. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, Robin, I hear you. They're a lot of work. A um, lot of work. I'll show you the progress I've made with him though. He's like, um, he's not very tame. I'll just show a forehead pick. Hang on. Oh yeah. So, hang on. This is where Aiden Bloob likes to be. <laughs> on my head or... On your knee. He's, <laughs> I'll show you that picture in a minute. Um, where's my knee? Oh, this is a funny video. Did you share it on the story? Yeah. You shared that one. Which one? Of Aiden. Of him on the TV? Yeah. No. On that oh, one. Oh, no, I didn't do that. Okay. Um, let me get a different... I'm just going to open it on my computer too, just because... Okay. Um, so this is him. He loves to be on my legs. Um, let me just... But he likes my camera too. <laughs> So, yeah, we're making really good progress with them. Gizmo's not jealous. Gizmo actually is the biggest sweetheart to him, and he's very encouraging. It's like he knows that they come from similar backgrounds of being in a cage. Um, when we was... We, we must put that video together, his rescue video. When he was coming out of his cage, he... Um, Gizmo was like really encouraging him. He was blowing him kisses and he did not want to come out of his cage. And um, we finally got him to come out to like this part. Whoa. We finally got him to come out and then Gizmo in the most perfect timing said, um, he sang Who Let the Birds Out? Didn't you, Giz? And it was the most, do you want a stashio? Like, 
and me and Carl both cried when he sung that. Oh, so they're just um, comments for a review. It could just be a cheeky comment, I like. He loves this toy. Is it supposed to be a foraging toy? What's his favorite word? At the minute, it's wow. Um, but sarcastically, it's like, wow. Um, his favorite word at the minute. Oh. He's kind of going back to some of his old stuff. So he's singing Who Let the Birds Out a lot. Uh, yeah, and he starts singing Bad Birds. Uh, he, Mum Beats Me. But he does say, he loves to say once, I'm like... Hi, Titi. Yeah, once some. Um, once some um is probably his favourite word because it's always to do with um, food. And um, we found that um, Bloob is very food motivated too. And that's how I, like, Gizmo wasn't let out because they said he would never go back in. And he was aggressive. But I, I figured out our way, and I always feed him some good snacks before bed. And that always gets him to bed, because they have to be in their cage for their safety. They can get spooked and just fall. Um, he is your car boy. Um, and, and we found that Bloob is actually the same, and he likes to... He likes... <laughs> he likes snacks. Which is crazy that you can just yeah. manipulate your birds to do what you want with just a little bit of food. <laughs> um, do you like, do your birds like to put their heads under bells? Yes! The bird does that, doesn't she? She loves sticking her head under So, bells. like you... <laughs> Bow head! <laughs> yes! Okay, that's crazy you said that. Ours does that too. Uh, only our Konya though, and she puts it on there, and she just like rests, and she just stays still. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I'm glad Bird's not. We thought she was a little weird, but um, I'm glad she's not alone. But Gizzy does love his belt too. Gizzy he does. Put him on his head. <laughs> um, Bloob. I have to be careful. She's um. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Um. Your co it must be a Konya thing. What what's your what was your bird? I'm just gonna try and turn it over without him seeing me. He's up there. He's scared of the tripod, not the phone. But that was progress. He didn't fly away. Hang on, I'm going. I'm turning. Beep beep beep. All right, guys. Yeah, sorry, I got the look. <laughs> I got the look. I don't think there's any more snacks in there. He's just hoping. Guess I got your zoomed in. That's crazy. Bow head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm so easily amused. I love that. Hi, Kiss. Hi, my boy. He's a good boy. No, we're not, uh, we've only had him, it was only a week on Saturday. So we've only had him like a week and a half. So we're making progress. He's out of his cage now. He spent a week in his cage so he could get used to all of us. Um, he's now uh, flying onto my head, um, onto my, my lap, uh, hanging out with us like by us on the couch. Him and Gizmo seem to have a very sweet talking relationship. Bird and him, on the other hand, not so great. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> I, can't, I hope he says it for you. I know. Um, we, can him a bit. we can try and trigger him. Oh my gosh. Thank you, TT. Oh, wow. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. That's really appreciated. I don't know why this keeps doing that. I keep, I can't see the chat fully. It like goes teeny. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's glitching out. Yeah. Do, you want to, um, do, you Do they all get on together? No. 
so um, Gizmo and Bird respect each other's boundaries. Um, Gizmo showed him. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Gizmo showed Bird that he was boss. He didn't bite her, but he kind of snapped at her. Bird, since then, has respected him, never left him. Like, never, like, bothered him. Now, we have, um, we have to find out who's top bird between bird and blue but it's just it's just stressful yeah. because although they're very even in size and beak strength i don't want one of them to get hurt but they need to kind of battle it out just like gizmo showed bird he didn't hurt her he could have he could have killed her but um oh who's bird? we've got her i'll show you bird bird is our first bird She's a Konya. We have her shut up at the minute. <laughs> shut up. Um, we have, oh, there she is. We have her in there because um, she will chase him around. We're and and we're, he's just getting used to our house and being out. So he, we take them in turns. There we go. He's scared of the tripod, but he's on the TV right now. Hang oh, on. Don't be so scared, baby. There he is. But we, our birds, um, our birds are out all the time when they can be, like, all the time. So I'm missing stuff. Does Giz have a habit of throwing his bowl a lot? Yes. Yes, he does. He has a snack issue. And if his bowl's empty, he'll just throw it and often say something a little bit cheeky with it. Hey, guess. But, yeah, I'm actually... I wonder if we can just risk it or do we not? Because we're not, like, our full attention isn't going to be on them two. Well, I can watch her. Do you want to take... I could take her out quick and show... Let me... Right, I'm going to try and bribe... Uh, no, because I, I, I don't want to risk it when we're not, like, fully focused. So I'm going to bribe him before... Okay. If you could just talk... Sure. I am um, getting some food. Okay. <clears throat> He's been out for a long time. And they probably talk. Oh, about. yeah. African greys have a very hard bite. Their bites are as strong as 400 PSI, which is a crazy strong, considering I, I don't remember dogs are like... A, dogs are less. No, I know dogs are less, but dogs are like half that bite power. Yeah, and the tiger's like half as much as theirs. I know, it's crazy. Which is nuts. Oh, Lisa, I will do that in one moment. We're going to get Blue back in his cage and I will do a super bird just for you. I sure will. Huh, Gibbs, can I try to do a super bird with you? <laughs> it's all about a little bit of library. Can I do super bird with you? Can I just come, can I come pick you up? Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> you're my healthy boy, though, so I can give you this stuff and you'll still want to eat it. Honestly, if I tried to do that with Gaze, I would love, my finger would be gone. Do what? If I tried to do a super bird with Gaze. <laughs> I don't even think you'd let me do that. No, probably not. My, uh, my hand would probably be gone. Oh, that's so exciting, Tanya. So happy for you. She said that her dog had its last chemotherapy treatment today and it's cancer free. Oh, wow. Love that. Congratulations. That's amazing. Come on, baby. Go. 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 No, this way. Go. No, this way. Come on. That's it. No, no. Wrong way. Oh, you oh gosh. Yeah, I can imagine that. Your, the gray was probably overstimulated with all the cats and everything. Oh, we got blue flying around. We got a blue in the kitchen. Whoa. Really? We're going back and forth here. I just need to get on that. And I oh, do you want me to like move? Maybe he's scared of me? I doubt it, but. Oh my gosh, I might have to show this. It's kind of cute. Oh, we have a bloob. 
So Emily's trying to get him. So this is where he's he not. Confused, he's not used to the house. And and Bloob is not trained by any means. He's very yeah, he's feral. A wild he's a feral wild animal. He's not tame. So we're working on taming him. So he doesn't understand it. Come like on. he doesn't understand it. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. Else, but he's Whoa! Scared. Okay. See, this is what we do. We play. Who Please. can catch the bloob? Who can catch the bloob? I just need you on that bit and then we can get in. Come on. No, we're not going back this, is, to this is what we do. This is our day. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Elias. That's awesome. We're glad that you're a big fan of Gizmo. Giz, can you say happy birthday to Elias? Can you say happy birthday? Can you give a big fat kiss? Give a big kiss. Yep, go ahead. Mwah. Good boy. <laughs> Once we get blue bin, Lisa, I got you. I will do a super bird for you. One day, my goal would be one day to be able to do it with Bloob. We shall see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, happy belated um, birthday, Lena. Ah, well, we're so glad. We love all of our um, people that support us and watch our channel. We really appreciate all of you guys. Oh, thank you so much, Jessica. <laughs> Emily's got a look. She sounds like she got quite a bit of patience back there. Do you want me to try to get him or scare him no, over here at no, least? No. no? Okay. Uh, I, that's, are you serious, Mike? I love that so much. Oh, wrong way. I love that so much, Mike. That's great. Dude, that's the wrong way. Aw, tickle, tickle. So Crystal actually blew loves he loves good food like he's um yes. he loves everything about his chop um like anything with salad like emily's actually got salad for him right now he loves um he loves apples so i'm a, i love the fact that he likes healthy things as his favorite treats <laughs> mike i love that so much mike said babe mike said that his stat like his his status on his work uh messaging app is who let the birds out and anyone who asks, he just sends a link to Giz's channel. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, That's great. That. Yeah, come on, baby. We're so close. Yeah, we will. We, once Bloob is in his cage, we'll be able to, like, try to get more participation from both of them. Maybe Bloob will talk, too. So I don't want to scare him again, so I'm going to take the phone off and try to show it. So one second. Because he's just so scared of this tripod. It's so silly. Where is he? He's just here. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll stand back here. She's trying to get him in with with treats because he loves them. And inside there is like some lettuce and stuff. Come on, Blueby. Come on, Bloob. Mm. Maybe Kizzy will sing Who Let the Birds Out Tonight. We'll see. He's been singing it today. He's thinking about it. Here he comes. Here he goes. Good boy, Bloob. Good boy. Yeah. Hey, good boy. You gonna go get your treats that Mama just put in? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. That's it. Good boy. Yeah, always on that turns. Yep, you want to make... So, like, when you're working with birds, it's best to 
you want them to make all the first moves, right? Like you, you can't force birds to do anything. They're wild animals. So you have to be able to, this is where you have to have a lot of time for birds because you can't just, if you know, if you were going to work and you have a bird flying around like that and you're trying to get them in the cage, it's going to be very stressful for you and the bird and you're going to be late. So when working with a new bird, you got to have a lot of time so people don't realize that sometimes. So, because you want to make sure that they do all the first moves. And as you can see, he's happy now. He's eating his, um, he's eating his apple. Ooh, yummy. He loves apples. All right. Okay, Gizmo. Gizbop. <laughs> so we can't typically we don't play any music on um youtube just because of the fact of copyright infringements unfortunately i wish we could a lot of people use that lisa actually you know it's funny that you mentioned the clicker training thing is, is i'm actually um that's in my amazon cart right now what? Uh, clicker for clicker training. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're too intelligent for us to clicker train now. Yeah, but they work really well for birds. Yeah, well, they do. On, but we're, we're talking about Gizmo here. Who can outsmart anyone. All right. Here we go, Lisa. Are you ready for this? <laughs> are you? Because I have a little special somebody here. She look. She looks like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. He does train me. Oh, he bird. does. Ready, bird? Here we go. Super bird. <laughs> okay, and again, replay. Do it one more time. Replay. You should the... do it fast to start off with, and then like okay. the slow motion. Let me do a fast one first, like. That's not fast. Okay. And then a slow motion with a stop in the middle like this. <laughs> oh, pause. Fly. Good girl. Good girl. Look at me. Oh. She doesn't want to look at you. I can get her to come back. It's a good girl. It's a good girl. Come here. Up up. Come on. Up up. Up, yep. Up, up. Good girl. Very good girl. Okay. Here you go. This is Bird. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Uh-oh. And this is Bird's favorite treat in the entire world. She will do anything I say for a cashew. She loves, loves, loves these. So... I usually break them into smaller pieces for her, and we do, like, recall training. She's doing really good with that, actually. Good boy. You're being a good boy, Giz. So it depends on your experience level with birds, time, and commitment when, when it comes to getting a new bird. Um, right? Like, it, it just depends on how much time you have, the level of commitment, and, and if you have any experience. Because some people want to get a bird like Gizmo. Whew, not a good first bird choice. No. Not a good first bird choice. Um, a conure, it, it maybe not like a sun or a gende. These guys are loud as heck. So it depends on your living situation, too. A green cheek. I would recommend a green cheek. Cockatiel. Or... If you were going for a conure, I was thinking. Yeah, green, conure, pineapple. Pineapple, green, green cheek. cheek. I don't know what the others are like. Cinnamon. But they're still all feisty. What? But a cockatiel for the first bird, for sure. Um, um, wait, somebody said, what do you do when you leave the birds home alone? <laughs> we don't go out very often. Um, so we're a house of seven. Ooh, so it's not very often that um, the house is unoccupied. Um, but when we do go out, even if the kids are home, we'll just put them in their cages. But 
just for their safety because they can fall, there's wires and stuff like that, but it's not very often. We literally spend, we work from home. We only ever go out for like grocery shopping or occasional dinners. We really don't go out very often. <laughs> um, what was that? Do you help groom your birds? Like the pin feathers? Yes. Yes. I can do gizmos top of his head. He's very hormonal, so I can't like... With bird, we can do everywhere on her. Oh, yeah. Um, she likes me doing it. But with gizmo, I can just kind of scratch the tops of his head. He's... He's still a little unsure because he never had that human touch for 16 years. So even like things that he's not used to, he can still flinch a bit. Um, oh, well, if you have macaws, then you can handle the gray. <laughs> oh. Yes, but sometimes I think macaws are like more loving and sweet. Whereas, but then so can grays. Yeah, Gizmo, they're, they're, they're just a bit slyer. They're used to big birds, though, and understand the power. Yeah, the power. Them. Yeah. We do have an Indian ring. Okay, we just put him away. We have to, at the minute, because it's only bit, we're only on, like, day 10, I think. Him and Bird, not him, but Bird, is um, not getting on so well with him. Well, she's, she's not even, like, I've not even given him a chance to fight but she keeps chasing him. She might want to play, but at the minute, because they're so, um, it's so new, I don't want them to hurt themselves. So I'm, I'm kind of doing it in shifts. Have you ever had a budgie? Um, no, I haven't, but that would be a great first bird or, um, or a cockatiel. Yeah, Cockatiels? Budgie. Cockatiels like to be on you more than budgies, I think. Yeah. Budgies are still very finicky, like they're like, um, whereas um, a cockatiel will, will sit with you a lot. Yeah, the cons on budgies too are the lifespan is really sh like short. What on cockatiels? No con, uh, uh, budgies. Budgies, yeah, budgies lifespan is very small compared to these birds. No problem. He's just having a groom now. Marna said, so Gizmo's trying to understand human touch, but it's taking it as sexy touch. I agree, Gina. <laughs> um, I, I feel like budgies work better together in little flocks, not just on their own. Wouldn't dare buy a bird yourself. No, no, we, um, we made the mistake of buying one bird literally buying it the rest were rescues now we know and now we can educate and i'm not saying like everyone should not go out and buy a baby from a breeder or a pet store but just always if you have the ability if you have the ability to rescue and the pay time and patience i i i i will advocate for that like always, always because and you, I think, I do believe once you start bonding with that bird that you rescued, they know, they appreciate it, and you have an unreal bond. Like, it's, mine and Gizmo's one, insane. <laughs> He's, um... He's just having a little groom right now. Um, there are so many, and the average parrot will see, well, a parrot, they say average parrot, will see up to seven homes, up to seven homes in its lifetime. I think even somebody added another statistic on top of that, that in their first 10 years, in their first 10 years. So, yeah. can you imagine? Like, they, they, they're so intelligent and, and they can feel everything like a child does. They have the intelligence of a small child. So, um, they, they're going to grieve once they've bonded and they're going to miss their owners and then they have to do it all over again and all over again. It's just so sad. Your butt on me. I know you, you normally sit. 
We might be able to see if that if that talk would be recorded. Um, he doesn't express wanting to fly. Sometimes they flap his wings, but I think that's more of a dominance thing. Um, and it, there's the vet checked him over, and there's nothing wrong. Uh, he could have the ability. It's just he that she does. She doesn't think he's going to be able to do it because he just never. Never learnt how to. It's just like if you were born and stuck in a wheelchair, you wouldn't necessarily just get up and walk. And that's what, you know, his, his wings are a lot stronger. I don't know. Um, uh, the clipping wings is so 50-50. I, oh, it's so hard. Okay, I've done both. So um, my Kanye is a baby, and um, she came with clip wings from the from the place we got her. Now, this is so hard because I believe it's right in both ways, in different ways. If uh, and I'll explain. So when we got our bird, she was young. She was only a few months old, and she was clipped, and she couldn't fly greatly, but she could fly enough to get to like me from her cage. And um, we were like, no, we don't wanna, you know, we're not ever gonna clip her wings. We want her to fly, she's a bird, she needs to fly. So we let them grow out. And and she's so bonded to us, she goes everywhere with us, even like out and about. And uh, she got spooked once and, and she really flew, not far, not far from us and she was calling me, but she didn't know how to fly down. And, um, we have this huge window um, and because she was so young and couldn't learn, she kept flying to the window. So we, we got them clipped enough for her to still fly, but not but not, not to be able to fly up and get altitude. So, and then that broke our hearts because she loved flying. So we spent like nearly, nearly a year of them growing out. Now she's a bit more mature. We've let them grow out again and she's flying great. We're working on recall. Yep. And um, I awesome. I truly believe, my opinion, that, and, and it's not a straight answer, I, I think it works both ways. Um, that is true. No, I don't feel like it needs to be 50-50 um constantly i think like in my case it was because she was so young and she she was she didn't understand um but we didn't get them clipped enough for her not to be able to fly off um i i i agree i i don't think any bird should be in captivity and um i never ever promote breeding i'll never promote going to a pet store and and keeping that business alive i i would be happy um if all birds lived in you know where they where they should be he is <laughs> i'm putting him asleep he's like this is boring mum. um he's been tired today actually she does have a harness she hates it but she does have a harness Yes, she's got this little red harness. Mm. We've we've had we've had a few. Um, <laughs> so be a uh, beak. Um, Gizmo went for the last time he went to the vets was probably three. I got to figure this out about three four months ago, and he had his beak and his nails trimmed. But he's his nails um, are starting to hurt me, so he needs to go back. I'm just waiting for Bloob to get a bit more confident. I'm going to take him back because he, he definitely needs a beat trim. For sure. Um, could Gizmo be outside without flying away? I've taken him outside. Um, and I understand people can think that I'm mad for letting him come outside, but I know Gizmo. And even with the wind, he can't he can't fly up he flies down 
So um, yes, he he come when it's nice weather. He um, uh, try target Tain and her Wednesday hates hers. She's a we're really doing well. Um, oh, we're gonna try. Okay, hang on. Let me. I don't want to scare him, so I'm gonna take this off. Okay, we're we're working on. Talk, excuse my crazy. Oh, hang on, bud. Hang on. What's on the stair? Oh, it's your dressing gown. Yes, Okay, we're like, she's so trained. One second. Hang on, I'll get her off. Come on. There we go. You're so feisty. Hang on. Right, stay. Right. There we go. Did she eat it? Oh, are you blowing her a kiss, kiss? That was cute. Right, put it back. Okay, right, round two. Oh, she's gone on your head. Oh, there we go. Come here. I'm here. You get so jealous when the camera's not on him. Sorry, we're just eating dinner. It's a crazy kitchen right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what's that doing? They're all going off now. Uh, you just bought two ten toys and need to renovate bird space. Yours looks amazing. Thank you. We, I know this sounds crazy, but we're actually, um, we've done a lot of research. And we're, we're working with one of the biggest manufacturers in the USA. And um, we're actually starting an online proper store with the manufacturer that builds all the cages and all the toys. And we are going to give a choice to each species of bird and everything like, that they enjoy by talking to bird owners. Because the, the actual choice that you get in a store is terrible. So we, yeah, they have, they have toys out and they have toys in. This is, this is her old cage. Her new cage is over there. Um, we're just getting her like kind of used to it. This is a new one. This is a, and this is one that we'll be selling. And then we got the tree that we're gonna put some more toys on for them there. But yeah, that's, <laughs> the birds are taking over. They've taken over. That's so. That's birds, and she's a Konya, and it's it's a huge. Oh, my arms ache. Kim. She's a kisser. I think Bloob's gonna talk. Oh, so. Okay. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Yes, the tree is amazing. Even Gizmo, even Gizmo went up on it, which. Shocked me because he's scared of this tiny little perch. <laughs> you got scared then. That's tiny. Oh, thank you. It's an absolute crap hole right now. Good boy. That was gentle. He's like, yeah, screw these treats. These are tiny. Yeah, he's like, I just need, just bring on the carbs. Right, let me give you a treat and maybe we can walk away or something. It is a Java tree. How about an almond? almond? How many bedrooms? We have, five. how many we got upstairs? Three? Five. So it's a five bedroom. So we have two in the basement and two then three chest. upstairs. But I have four children. Well, two of them are nearly adults. Um, and I... I one is an adult and one's nearly an adult. And um, we kind of adopted um, a 17 year old girl as well. So, yeah. Giz has actually said Fortnite before, hasn't he? So I have like five kids. kids if Giz, I count, well, I do count her. Giz but... has, has said Fortnite before. Oh, he has said Fortnite, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, maybe let's, let's take this. All right, all right, we'll tell them then. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> while Giz is finishing a snack, me and Emily are going to try to hide. 
And because Bloob might actually talk too. He's, all, he's talking. I, he's, him saying, I, I sound like him. The witch is new. He's copying her there. Yeah, we're going to walk away for a sec. <laughs> so is Bird. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll sit in here and you sit there. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.
way you say that. <laughs> cute. Cute. Them, them snacks is not good. You ate them. Just gonna go up the stairs because sometimes he tries to call for me.
Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Rips. <laughs> I love that you're saying that. You're a clever boy. I think he's going to groom now. Oh, yeah. Do you have? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I think he's having a groom sesh now. I wish Blue would talk. He doesn't really talk this time of night, though. He's more of a daytime talker. Hi. Hi. Tickle, tickle. Hi. Oh, Giz, you got a floof on your head. Ooh. Yeah, he's full, in full grooming mode right now. It must be exhausting being a bird, I swear. To have, I mean, with their feathers. Because it's constantly, they're constantly losing them, growing them. And they don't just grow through perfectly. They, they're like these little pins and then they have to get the, like the, the powdery hard coat off them. 
It must be exhausting. And they can be really uncomfortable when they are molting. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what did you do? He's definitely smarter than a lot of people I know. For sure. And you. Oops. on the camera. Hey. Say hi, Birdie. Ready? Okay. They do talk. Um, Giz is really picking up on Bloob's, the way Bloob talks. And um, Bloob loves Gizmo. Interacts a lot with Gizmo. Not so much us. Maybe my youngest. And you. And me. I know, you. I'm just trying not to make you feel bad. I know. Only have bird. Um, yes, Gizmo. Gizmo. I love the way Gizmo's really trying to say tickle, tickle the way he does. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, you put that video of him on the TV today? Yeah, on yeah. the story post, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you guys he, haven't seen it, that we did make a story on... It's even here on YouTube on his stories, and you can listen to... Um, Bloop saying tickle tickle and then mm -hmm. Giz hang it back. So cute. He says a lot. Um, his main things that he says is tickle tickle, peekaboo, what you doing? Um, you're cute. You're cute. Good boy. Good boy. Um, I'm going to go work now. I'll see you when I get back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says that. Bloop is seven years old, by the way. Yeah, he's seven. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yes, you're right, Yusuf. So, yeah, seven. Cage for four, love for three, and he's going to have the rest of his life loved. I don't know, Blue. I don't know. He's a ladies' boy, just like Giz is. So, every morning I let Blue out first because, um, oh, yeah, he says, do, 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 do. Um, I let, I let um, Blue out first because he's, he's a morning guy. Hi, Zayed. Um, yeah, Gizmo is like granddad, but although he's only 17, he's like, he should be a teenager. He acts like a granddad. <laughs> he does. Um, when he says, hey, Giz, he sounds like, oh, he sounds like Kyle. Aw. <laughs> he says that. Hey, Giz. <laughs> um, we basically have the same laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So in the morning, Gizmo likes to sleep in, and so does Bird. So I get Blue Bell on his own, and every and it's only me because I get him out after I've dropped the kids off because we still have to be careful with the doors. Um, so I get him out, and he flies literally straight to my head, and he chills out with me for a, quite a long time. Kyle's yet to experience that yet, but oh. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Gizzy's only now just, like, opening up to me a little bit more, and it's been a, a year. Um... <laughs> I suppose they can wake up super early. There's just like, um, I always wait for Gizmo. Um, so I drop my kids off at 8 a.m. And um, I always wait to let them out so I can be like fully like here and not leave them, like let them out and then have to leave them. But they, they like, I think about nine, probably 9 a.m. is when they both like want to come out. Whereas Bloob is a 6 a.m. boy, which I don't appreciate on Sundays. 
Uh, use to foster them. We thought about doing that, but I think that the three we've got take so much of our time. If there was a case where we had to foster, I would, but it's just, it's a lot. Are they more calm or crazy, African grey parrots? You answer that. They He's can, our chillest, to be fair. But that's just him. That's they just him. They can be crazy. Gizmo can't fly. So I've seen, like, what they're, uh, and he's older. Yeah. Like, Cruz, she says she can't make any more videos anymore because he's so hormonal and aggressive. Well, and Apollo, like, like, they post sometimes of Apollo flying at them and stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it just depends. Each bird can be no, so I unique and I don't way. like waking up at 6 a.m. No, um, when they can fly and they're young, especially like, um, I think Cruz is like two years old, so is Apollo. They're all over the place and they're chaotic and they can just fly to your face and they're, they can be like strong and dangerous. Whereas Gizmo can't fly, he's very chilled. He's very chilled. When we was eating dinner earlier, he did crawl. Um, oh, you he, can see me then now. He, you can. He went under the couch and he just tapped his beak on my foot like, I want some. My hair looks crazy. Cause I... Yeah, you don't see it like that. Oh, okay. But it's tiny. It's just like a shadow. Oh. Don't make show you, just so you feel a bit more secure. Yeah, I can see it clear as day. <laughs> <laughs> Could you? Yes. Oh, you have a floof on your head. I probably have bird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, he stopped singing it. So he just says birds now, and he expects me to just sing the rest. It's a duet as far as he's concerned, and he just starts it, and I have to finish it. Yeah, because he trains he, you. He, he does train me. Um, he he really tried to start learning flying. It, it will come. I think he's stored it, and it will come back. But at the minute, it's just birds. Birds. Because he was saying, um, <laughs> I forgot what he was. Birds. I know, I was really sad about that, because I thought we were making really fast progress with that one, and then um, he stopped. And you know what's funny? You know how he's learned from Bloob? Mm-hmm. He did tell Bloob, ah, oh, it looks like you're going to train me or something in one of those videos. Oh. Yeah, one of the ones we posted, he said something with Bloob, and he was like, you're going to train me? Wow. So he's okay with Bloob training him, but not you. Oh, did someone <laughs> say something about Giz being in a cage? He just said, how could we cat fly? Oh, okay, thank you for answering that. Sorry, sometimes I miss the comments on my phone because it just shows you about two, three at a time, and then they disappear. Oh my, I don't know why, but I have a pressure headache really bad. <laughs> I'm laughing at the wow. headache. No, it's just the way you was like a bit dramatic with it. I don't know why. Maybe because the pressure's changing? Probably. <laughs> Sorry, Giz gets probably sarcasm from me. Yeah. Wow. And the wow. Sorry. I just called myself out for that then. I'm a wower. I love that word. And I love that he picks up some of the, like, my sarcasm. It's very British to be, like, extremely dryly sarcastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. It's like a dad joke, disappear. I don't know why. Sometimes you do have dad jokes. I do have dad jokes. I'm very much a dad joke kind of person. Um, who let the dog at the pump? Ah, It is, yes. It is ingrained. Yeah, he's a little frustrated with my whistles. Oh my gosh, I wish you would say chirp, go up again. Oh gosh. That was one of my favorite videos. He did a kissy fart on this one. Um, he's 17. <laughs> Nearly 18, Giz. Next year. Whoa. 117, Erin. <laughs> Giz, are we going out to the clubs next year or what? 
Yeah, you just can't drink like alcohol. Okay. Um, I can't hear who let the dogs out without hearing the birds part. Thank you. Nor can we. No. I tried to play the original one, um, but I kept saying birds. The who let the dogs out one is boring now. It is boring. Ah, thank you. It is cool. I wish we could bring out more music, but we just don't have enough time. And we don't know how to make music. <laughs> Someone did that for us. We were so grateful. So A DJ did that for us for no charge or anything. So thank you. Um, oh, I love bird's eyes. I love bird's eyes when it's getting dark and they go really dilated. They look like babies. Is that... Show me that. What? Give me that. Yeah, just give me a gummy, but not the special gummies. Wait, wait what do you mean show them what? Just because it looked like dodgy. Nobody sees it. Yeah, but they can hear us. Why is that? You like baby take that. And I'm like a gummy. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I know, but I just wanted to make sure it's we're trying to get healthy. So we, we take one a day and then forget for about seven days. <laughs> and then we take another one a day. And then forget. Yeah, He's taking some like fish tablets. Omega-3. You'd get, we have it on a ringtone, don't we, on that, on his store? No, mm -hmm. that's not Who Let the Birds Out. It is, but it's oh. not in like the song. It's like, oh, we've, it's we've got Who Let the Birds Out um, where you can get as a made ringtone apparently. But it's Gizmo singing it, not the actual beat. Like with the beat, it's just him by himself, yeah. It's just Giz vibing. Uh, it was... These are the gummies. The actual vitamins or vitamins here. Um, what if you learn how to whistle at me? He wouldn't know what to do with himself. Can you imagine? I, re I am really trying. I am trying so hard to whistle. Okay, so he's giving me vitamin B now. B12. B12, sorry. B12. Do I, is that dissolvable? Yeah. Yeah. They taste like pants, They're so. Okay. No. They're not bad. No, it's like sticking a bit of cardboard in your mouth. And then here, take out a biotin. A biotin? Yeah. Don't hurt. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I love that song, Who, What Does the Fox Say? I think it's really underrated. I think that's a banger. It's one of my favourites. Yeah. You just love the, hook, the, um, the, the bridge part. Mm-hmm. Sorry. He's giving me a gummy biotin. A biotin? Yeah, this one you have to take with a drink, though. But I don't have a drink. B12. I mean, uh, D, vitamin D. I should talk. It's the same. I know, Gizmo's accent. He's <laughs> Gizmo talks right. like Scottish, Irish. He's done a bit of Welsh. Okay. He's Canadian. He's done American. And you've tried to do the British accent, haven't you, my baby boy? Um, You've been watching a lot of shorts of Giz almost every day. Ah. Thank you for watching them. You don't have to take this one out. Can get it to you later? Thank you. Oh, I have been really trying. I just... Okay, so... Me and my son, we both have tongue ties. Where you're, like... The, if you lift your tongue up and there's that little thing that attaches. Mine and my son's are really, like, tight. This is what I'm blaming on, guys. This is what I'm blaming on. This is my excuse. Anyway, my tongue is very short. <laughs> no, stop. So, uh, that's... I know Peppa Pig would say, put your lips together and blow, and she, uh, it does not work like that for me. Okay, right, look, this, listen. Okay. I have to lick my lips. I don't know why. It just The thought of whistling makes my lips, like, prunes. This is me trying. 
boop. <laughs> I just bang out whistle, Dad. That was actually quite good for me. Hang on. <whistles> oh, my gosh. I'm getting better. That's good. It's quiet. It's quiet. Yeah, but feel that. Feel that. And then, like, make okay. it a little bit Okay. 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 Um, my gosh. What if I can just be the best whistler in the world? I'm going to go on, like, America's Got Talent and go... My name's Emily and I'm here to whistle. <laughs> and I just whistle. <laughs> You're making me laugh now, Giz, with that look. Hang on, I'm gonna How's zoom this in. Training, Giz? Is it good or no? Giz, <clears throat> hang on, I'm gonna do this for you, baby. You have to keep the lips lubricated. I didn't realize whistling was this serious, but hang on. <whistles> oh my gosh! That's as loud as it goes, though. Do what do I do? Like... Oh, no. If I put my hand in, it goes quieter. You need to blow a little harder. <laughs> this is where Giz gets all the interesting things from. No, that doesn't That's work. That's too hard. Though. That's too hard. <laughs> like, you have to find that right... <laughs> you have to find that right, like, thing. Oh, if, can you imagine Simon Cowell? What if I got a standing ovation? It's really hard. I can whistle with, you know, when you get your four fingers and you put them in your mouth and you blow really hard and you whistle loud. I can do that like a boss. I can even do it like, you know, when you do it like that. My grandfather taught me when I was a kid because I couldn't whistle. So I, I really tried that. But I can't do that in front of Gizmo and impress him because I tried to do it once and he... Cacked his pants. Right, hang on. It's hard to keep your lip. My lips automatically go dry when I think of whistling. Do yours? No. Oh. Then I whistle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Giz? <laughs> it's just like. I'm just gonna. I'm for being it. a. <laughs> Was that good? Was that good? Can you say something. Say something. Come on, I'm trying. I try. I try. Oh my gosh, I feel like... Does it make you want to gag sometimes? Whistling? Yeah. No. Oh. Try breathing... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Try try doing the whistling breathing in. In? Okay. Oh my gosh. I find that to be easier too. Okay. All right. All right. You're making Gizmo leave me. He's not impressed. Oh, <laughs> you went, hmm? Oh my gosh. How, how big's the hole when you blow in? <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that in? Yeah. Whoa. It looks, it Hang on. I'm going to look at your lips. That's a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this sound any naughtier. Yeah. Okay. Maybe my hole's too small. Try it. That's the same sound as I'm doing out. Yeah, it's because when you, you just have to find the right like pattern, like you might have to readjust some of your lips. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then I lose oxygen and I go dizz. Mm, like, was, was that in and out? That was in. out and in. That was only in. That this was. How in did you out. change that? That was. See, look, my my gum stuck to my tooth like a dog did. Then. <laughs> right. Maybe it's your lips. Maybe it's the shape of your lips. Yeah. It's all about the lips. It's all about the lips. Sorry, I know it sounds rude, but I'm trying to whistle. That was oh, in. That was, that was in. That was good. Yeah, but I lost breath. How do you hold? How do you do it for that long? Do you just keep sucking air in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can't even imagine what Giz is gonna pick up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I have witnesses. I have witnesses. If Giz starts so like talking about this, then this is probably where the suck it stuff is yeah, coming yeah, from. Suck it low. <laughs> um. You uh, thank you for admitting you can't whistle with me. 
I feel like we need a little support group. I might start one. <laughs> a support group online. My name's Emily and I can't whistle. Um, yeah, he is... I'll have to do a daytime, like maybe at the weekend or something. Um, I'll have to do a daytime one because he's loud. Oh, Giz is tired too. And our kitty winks will be home soon. Where's Luke? Can you show him? Um, I'll have to just, I don't want to scare it. Hang on. He's in bed. There he is. <laughs> Are you having a snack before bed? Used to be able to whistle, can't now. How do you stop? Like, because they say once you learn how to ride a bike, that's it. Yeah, but okay, do you want to know something really crazy that happened to me one time? No. Well, I do. <laughs> yeah, but I was, yeah, sorry, I said that wrong. Yes, so I, I do. I play, like, in the, on, in the military, yeah, I was on a softball team with, like, a bunch of people. Mm hmm And, you know, I could throw, you've seen me throw a ball, right? <laughs> We're competitive when we're throwing balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now don't talk about balls So you now. know I can throw. Yeah. Anyways, I went out to, like, we were practicing one day, and, like, I couldn't throw. So it was like Space Jam. It was like, yes. For, like, two weeks. It was so, it was so, like, it was really making me very angry, like, in Space Jam. Like, you know how they got depressed yep. and mad? That's exactly how I felt. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> It was like, I didn't know how to explain it. It, like, would go way over there or it was, like, really weak. It would just fall, like, like a child. You know how Jace throws? Mm -hmm. It was just like that. Well, Jace is a good thrower now. Well, um, how he used to throw. I am, a, I'm like, so immature. We built a cage and we made a video about it. And we were talking about screws. Literally to build the cage. But I'm, like, giggling like a little schoolgirl. I'm ridiculous. I am so immature. I'm mature. But when it comes to the oh, you got a ballad. Yeah, Steph, and Steph said I will evolve. <laughs> Just like look at look at blue. Oh, when he goes back, he looks like he's got a little bow hat. Also, you always laugh when somebody says the word mouth. <laughs> See? I don't know why. I find like balls, nuts, <laughs> screws, <laughs> just hilarious. <laughs> Like, we're talking about sucking for whistling, but it's making me laugh. <laughs> I'm, I know, I need to get a grip. And Bellhead makes me laugh. <laughs> Bellhead, yeah. <laughs> he literally, I know. I know. Uh, oh, Giz. What you got on your beaky? Right, well, I'm glad he did a little talk today. The other day I was <laughs> laughing at my driving license. <laughs> 16. Do you know what? I get so excited when, like, a number hits 69 so I can say it out loud to people, Oh, it's 69, everybody. I know. I know. Oh, wow. When, the, the scary thing about growing up to anyone that's my age, Lisa. Um, <laughs> you just called her out like that. <laughs> um... The thing that sucks is your body ages, but your mind doesn't. Like, I still feel... Like, obviously, you have more life experience and everything, and you're more mature in ways, but you you don't feel any different to when you was when you were younger. It's crazy. Are they back? Um, I don't know who it is. Jake's going to come Anyway, I'm going to... It's nearly bedtime. Yeah. So I'm gonna get gives so anyway. We're gonna obviously do this way more often. Yes. Um, but the the kids are coming back. They've been out, so we're gonna we're gonna yeah. That thing does suck. We're gonna we'll do this way more often. Yeah. Um, Lisa, we didn't need to mention numbers. Okay, I just said you were my age. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, she got that wrong. It's actually two two, not four four. Um, yeah, there's a typo or what? <laughs> <laughs> Two little ducks. Oh, that's British bingo. <laughs> you know how to do that in bingo. Two little ducks, quack, quack. <laughs> and then you go one duck and then everyone goes, aww. <laughs> and then they say number 11. And then they say legs 11 and everyone goes, woo, woo. <laughs> no? No. Oh. 
Oh, okay. somebody asked what time zone we're in. We're in Mountain Standard Time Zone, so it is 8.30 here. It's 8.30. Uh, the kids will be back and we'll be getting them into bed, but... And do you know what's really rude? Sorry, going back to British Bingo. Number 88. Do you know what they call that? What? Two fat ladies. <laughs> That's really rude. That should be cancelled. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Payback. <laughs> um, yeah, that should be cancelled. Let's cancel bingo. <laughs> British bingo. <laughs> anyway, sorry, guys. Um, thank you, Crystal. I feel like I have to do this. Uh, it's really hard because my brain still... <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious. I love it. Aw. What? Over 70 feel more like a 12 or a 13 a little of the time. Yes. For sure. Yes. I love that. I love that. When, was, when we're over 70, I feel we'll no feel different, same. just apart from the aches and pains that the body makes you feel. Like mine, right knee. Ooh. Recovery time is way longer. Way longer. That's the annoying part. Giz is just bored. I get tired just climbing the stairs. <laughs> I got out of breath, yeah. I think I didn't even climb oh, any having, stairs. Like a, a date outside. Aww. Let me turn on the light. Okay. Hang on. Well, this is the longest goodbye you're ever gonna get from us. You eating out there? You eating out there? You getting? Oh, he's gonna put the romantic lights for you on. There you go. Do you want a candle? Do you want us to serenade you with our song? Giz is, can play the violin. Can you imagine if Giz was going, arr, 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 and we're singing our stupid songs? <laughs> Sorry, my daughter's outside, and she's having a romantic pizza date with her crazy boyfriend that's running around with a dog. <laughs> He's got his wiener out. <laughs> but yeah, all right, Giz. Number 88 here. <laughs> Just eight. He literally looks like the shape Maybe of Maybe that's eight. why they said that, because it's like 88 to eight. They just say, I don't know. I just no, 88 is, eight is a fat lady, because they say one fat lady, number eight. Wow. Two fat ladies, 88. Yeah. Because the shape. Did they just eight though too? No, you're looking too deep into it. I was just trying to make a joke. <laughs> they probably did. Hi, guys. Anyway, again, cancel 88. We got to. I mean, two little ducks. Quack, quack. Number 22. Cute. Legs 11. We need to cancel legs 11. That is sexualizing <laughs> women. And everybody whistles. That legs 11? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, okay, we're cancelling 88 and number 11. I'm trying to think what else is there. Uh, um, what's the last number in bingo? 90? 90. End of the row, 90, I think they say. Yeah. yeah. But they always do it in such a, like, um, over, like, your show, showman voice. Save 88. <laughs> Cancel it. We're canceling it for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, next time I go live, I'm gonna have all the like Birds sayings for you and I'm gonna read <coughs> one to 90. Bird's letting Colton pet her. Hi, baby. That's bird. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you jealous? Because <laughs> oh. I, like, I like when she feels with other people. Okay, all right, we said goodbye six times. Yeah, I know. Our goodbye is longer than, like, a sh even a, U like a YouTube short or a TikTok could handle. It's basically a long-form content on its own, just our goodbye. Yeah, with our goodbyes and his goodbyes tonight? Yeah, it's a lot. To it's it's too much. It's a goodbye party. <laughs> right, okay, whoa, go on. One goodbye bite. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> One goodbye bite. Yes, Crystal. Let's rename it. I'm coming up with some like... 88, let's make cake. Oils. How about that? Okay. Oh, thank you, Ser <clears throat> Serena E. Is it Serena E? I can't. Serenity? Hi, Kate. Serenity? So, so I would say Serena E. Serenity? You? Serenity? I don't know. It's the British twang. I don't know. If I don't I'm... know if you would ever say Serenity. <laughs> I'm not laughing at your name. I'm laughing at the way I say your name. Serenity? Yeah. How do you say it? Serenity. I question how I speak sometimes. I do apologise. I just, yeah. we just have something missing in our tongues. Yeah, Giz agrees. <laughs> he's trying to train me. He's trying to train me. Oh, dear. Oh, he's coming down. He likes to have a walk around before bed. So, we are loving and leaving you. And we will be back. Um, I've had a really fun time tonight. She's being very cute. Oh. That's good. Oh, you want... No, we've said goodbye. I'm not doing it anymore. Okay. All right? We can't, like, keep dangling the carrot of okay. goodbyes. Okay. <sighs> he is. Oh, yeah, right. but he's gone to his snack bowl. That's where he's walked to right now. Okay, don't care. See? He didn't walk very far. Right. Can you just play with blue ball something? Bird. Oh, look at them having a little date. Kyle even turned the lights on that you can't see and it's not even night, but we're going to go serenading with our singing in a minute. All right. Anyway, for the 50th time, good night. God bless. Good Bird night. says hi and goodbye and we appreciate you and we shall see you soon. Bye. Thank you, Lisa, so much for all your help. We appreciate you and we appreciate you all for hanging out with us. We've had a great time. All right. Bye-bye.